Keep it in the shower. It's controlled by Jaron Jackson Jr. against the guy that was a Grizzly. And he came here for Steven Adams, don't forget. 42% from beyond the arc. CJ coming around the corner on the dribble handoff. It'll be Trey. I'm going to triple the start. That's a great yes. play. That's a great play to start. Good down screen and good action between Trey Murphy and Herb Jones on the weak side. On the deflection, Jaron Jackson Jr. And he does not get the roll, but second chance points. You just brought it up. Going to be saved? Yes, CJ's got it on the run. Good, good pass. extra pass. Trey got contact. Goes Trey. to the line off That's the window. Trey. Great job by Herb. Good challenge. And how about a lob? Yes! What did we just see, Joe? I can't did believe we, it. Did we just see a completed lob? I must be. Her corner see, three. See, this is a shot that they're willing to live with. Again, you notice there's no one right. No one closed out. No one in the neighborhood. Desmond Bain is not in the lane either. CJ gets the roll. Yeah. And I want Herb Jones to just remain aggressive. That's it. It'll be Dylan Brooks. You know he's aggressive. He's and three and three from three. Herb, another one. Larry kept it alive. Yes. I, as you said, they're going to live with that, aren't they? Yes, they are. An easy bucket for them. Yeah, play smart. Missed him there. Herb, another three. Yes! Two plus to play. And, and that's the thing. If you Josh Richardson makes it a five-point deficit. Locked and he's going to try to overpower Jackson. he's very Jackson. good at using his body. He's very good at using his body. Aldama going to the line of the reach. Of attacking and then sometimes knocking down Ooh. wide open jump shots. CJ, nice move by CJ. Nice Nicola. adjustment of the air. How about the backdoor bounce entry? Herb has already matched his career best with three triples. He's got 15 points in the first quarter. And another triple. So they're up by seven. Entry and a perfect one for Lofton. He, he, does, he, did a, he did a great job stealing. That was Kennedy Chandler who just checked into the game at his second season, second round pick. The Pels pay by driving these closeouts. An 11 to nothing run right now. Nike, a little mid-range action. Good. Take what they give you. He wanted to go back. He's got a step and he's got Lofton for a layup. He's going to the line. Yep. They're just moving the ball around with no resistance whatsoever. Look how easy this ball's moving around the horn. There's no one that's denying anything, taking any things away. Step back for so Brooks. Then they, then they get the shot that they want. Timeout. Tyus Jones with Jaron Jackson running their half-court sets. Of course, a great three-point shooter, Desmond Bain, and he's going to the line again. They're getting what they want. Here's the college basketball at TCU. How good has he turned out to be? Back door. Brandon Ingram. No foul. Yes, Scott Foster, I was watching the baseline <laughs> official, and he ignored it. And, it's, and there's David Roddy flashing again. Okay, and it's moving. Ball's moving. Roddy on a step but through see, gets that, a layup out of it. This is the same exact, he did the same thing twice. And this is what I was asking them to do earlier when they were fronting the post. That should be automatic. When you see that guy is fronted, you have to flash to the high post. Biggest lead of the game for the Memphis Grizzlies. CJ had a good run by her. Well timed. To her. Up to 19. Let's see if the Pels can get a couple of stops out of the timeout. Jaron Jackson, he wants to go back to a strong side, doesn't he? He got the left hand, and he worked it well. He's a righty. Jones. With Dylan Brooks trying to get there. A little they're, they're getting what they want. And it was only a 10, 12 foot. Right. They're getting what they want, though. CJ's got him on his back. A little floater. It'll work. Down to 13. So that's four straight empty possessions. Take it yourself. He will. Good play. And Dylan Bricks did not right. want to pick up another foul. Taking a while to get another set. Brandon with CJ. It'll be a deep three. And he called class. Yeah, that was long. I knew he called class. Five of the shot clocks. So now you got to go, C.J. Will. Got the triple. That's a good read by Brandon Ingram. Good back screen by Herb Jones. Six plus to play. Ten-point game. Brooks. And Trey battling through the pick. And it'll be a three-point opportunity for Dylan Brooks. He's posing for himself right now. It has been choppy at times, but the Pels are only down by ten. They're up to 43% shooting. And... That guy could flat out stroke it. Brandon Ingram up against Desmond Bain. 
Spinning for the mid-range. No, the finger roll. Nice scoop. Ten-point game. And another miss, but Great a good back tap. Herb. Yep, Herb, smart Attack play. Him. Attack him. Yep, Brandon. Attack him. Makes yes. the most of it. Attack him. Six point game. Here comes the double. Good cut. Good cut by Herb. Good cut. And goes to the line. Look at the three point play. So a struggle for the Bells now. Down by seven. It'll be Jaron Jackson Jr. with a floater of work. Back to nine. He's got Roddy. And into Larry it goes. Gonna be Josh Richardson catching shoot. Six point game. 38 seconds left in a two for one. Let's see if they go for it. Desmond Bain trying to bang his way to it, and he got it. Eight point game. Waiting for Brandon. And Brandon's got a good look. Yes! Five point game, one more stop. You got one in here. <laughs> Bain trying to get to the rim and will again. They're now at 52 to 28 points in the paint. Oh, the deflection. Jackson still got it. Just flipped it up. And Jonas comes away with it. An opportunity for the Pels. Another one for Trey. Got it! That's good. And a timeout for Memphis. That's That'll good. get you. And you get it back. Wide open. Trey. How about three? Yes! Who is it, Joe? Clickety clack. Going to get by Brooks. Yes, yeah, he he's been held up by Brooks and it's blocked away. No, it'll be CJ for the lead. Got it! Oh. Attack, Floor attack space. He's got trigger. Three ball. Trey Murphy. Ah. Unbelievable! Wow! Time out, Memphis. <laughs> Nobody on Dias Jones. Otherwise, the opportunity would have been there. He wanted to go back to Jaron Jackson. And he'll get the layup to tie it up. They're getting whatever they want inside. Yeah, they busted the coverage. Brandon in the mid-range. It's even. Again, he missed the last shot, but you had the, the shot that you wanted. Right. Bain thought about the three. It'll be Jaron Jackson, and he'll get the runner. Wrong. Boy, he took Wrong. and Larry right out of the equation. Everything is situational. Here comes that high screen for Jaron Jackson, and he got the layup out of it. Too easy and too fast. Brandon denied by Dylan Brooks that time. Going to the mid-range. Got it! 13.6 to play! Ties sets it up. Oh, oh no. her. Uh, but but the, the thing, the thing of, that is such a big miss free. No. And loose stuff. Jaron Jackson, and he's fouled. He's going to the line to try to force overtime for an extra five minutes, basically. And he got him. They weren't even. Now the Pels will advance. Man, can he get it to Brandon? Nope. And that'll do it. We go to overtime. And it'll be controlled. As Trey stays on the floor as well. It'll be controlled by Tyus Jones. It, it, Inside of four in overtime. Trey, he's available. He's got it! Okay, um, I don't know what Dylan Brooks was thinking. Going away. That's it's Larry. Pass. Perfect That's pass. A great pass. Brandon Brandon Ingram. That's a Time great on pass. Memphis. And Brandon saw it coming. He's got Herb leaking out. Make it work. Ten point lead. They've shut him on so far. It'll be Larry. Waiting. And he fell down. Larry goes to the hole. Jaron Jackson was still on it. Hells deserve it. Coming back the way they did tonight from down 17 at the half, and the play in is 